mom used to be an alderman. Call her doctor at 17. Teen. Chicago teen Dorothy Janus, um, Gianna? Gianna's Tillman, Gianna. named after her, her name grandmother, mom, sorry. earns a PhD. She named after her grandmother. After earning her bachelor's degree at 12. Come on, somebody. And a double master's degree at 14. She was already being groomed. They would show a lot of photos of her and her grandmother and her mom. She was groomed at a young age. Dorothy Jean, granddaughter of ex-Chicago alderman Dorothy Tillman, Dorothy Tillman, completed a doctoral program at Arizona State University, College of Health Solutions. I'm proud of her. Dorothy Jean Tillman describes herself as just a gene chair, gene ear. Oh, generation. Generation Z. Uh -huh. These new kids. That's their generation. New name now. She, like many 17-year-olds, likes to dance, paint, and hang out with friends. She's heading to Amsterdam in March for her 18th birthday and will graduate in May, standing shoulder to shoulder with her peers. But Dorothy is not about to finish high school. She's graduating from a doctoral program as Arizona State University. After successfully defending her, dis her dissertation and earning her PhD in integrated behavioral health, her research focused on reducing stigma among college students about using campus mental health services. There you go, Chicago's finest. It says her, her achievements at an adult age would be considered remarkable. But she was 12 when she got her college degree. Beautiful. And a double master's at 14. Come on now. Come on. You don't hear these stories a lot, especially with people of color, black women. Beautiful. The Bronzeville team, so they live in Bronzeville, mm -hmm. dedicated herself to STEM, science, technology, engineering, arts, and math education, founded by Dorothy. Um, STEAM Leadership Institute in Chicago um, in the West Cape Town, South Africa. She also advises the Guyanan um, government on STEM education and programs for you. We know STEM here mm -hmm. because we've worked with some of the girls that said no STEM programs. Mm -hmm. Black girls too. I love it. There's an there's a organization in this area called Chocolate Chips. It's a STEM program. Mm -hmm. Beautiful program. Mm -hmm. My God. They opened the they opened the world of, of, of math and science and technology to these black little girls. Yep. She said that her journey hasn't always been easy. Mm -hmm. Not having the same things that my peers had, not getting to go to school dances and join school groups were what I really was missing out on, she said. Mm -hmm. I bring that to parents' attention before they think about homeschooling their kids. Yeah, that was one of the things that a, fa a family member, a friend of ours, she homeschooled all of her kids, but she had to connect with the local schools for other extracurricular activities or other activities so the kids can engage yes. with other kids yep. and not just be home yep. all, all the time. I would let them do that, but I would also, um, if you homeschool, like you said, I would let them hook up with kids in the neighborhood mm -hmm. or yeah. whatever. Yeah. They need that interaction. She says, I wouldn't be here without my mom. I wouldn't be here without the intelligence that she has and the way she can foresee things and know they're going to be big. My granny also taught me a lot. Just sitting around with her at the kitchen table and learning from her. I gained so much from that. She was surrounded by um, women that were beautiful Role models. role models. Because her grandmother was a, a, an alderman for a while. Well, it says here. Um, the eldest Tillman, the one you talking about, uh -huh. represented the third war for more than 20 years. 20 years. She marched in Selma, Alabama with Martin Luther King mm -hmm. and said her family was always valued education. Yes. She was known, if you were to ever do um, uh, Google her grandmother as an um, alderman in Chicago, she was known for the hats. Yes, yeah, she always, she always had a hat on, different kind of hats. Dorothy Tillman. I am so proud of her granddaughter. Can you imagine that? Oh, that's beautiful. I love hearing stories like this. Not, And I don't want to sound like I'm racist when I say this, 
because you do hear it a lot with Asian kids, you know, whether they're from from um, East Asia or West Asia, India. But black kids, you rarely hear these stories where they gra- they graduate from school early with a degree at twelve and now fourteen. Look at this. You don't. Have, I guess you don't have to put it's your beautiful. kid in the school the grade they you tell them. She, her mom, she said, noticed that she was gifted at a young age mm-hmm. and well above her a, her years. Mm-hmm. So when she was little, she put her in high school she level classes. Her, yeah. So you, you don't have to put your child in a in a low class if your child can test high. Mm-hmm. You can skip grades. Skip grades because t- challenge them. Why would they have to be stuck in a grade because of their age? Now she came out here. At 10 years old, Dorothy enrolled at the College of Lake County. Really? Where she majored in psychology and completed her associate's degree in 2016. That's our neck of the woods. Wow. She was out here. Okay. She excelled in her courses. Her mom said, though professors at the College of Lake County initially didn't want to teach someone so young and didn't think she could handle the material, the president of the college had to grant special permission. And you know her grandmother going to push that. Dorothy Tillman don't play. She then um, completed a bachelor's degree in humanities at Excelsior University um, in New York. Her Mm -hmm. mom then encouraged Dorothy to pursue her doctorate. And she hesitated at first, but then she went in. She kept going. She didn't rest. She didn't stop. She kept going. Education. She kept going. She must love education. She must love learning. 17 years old and a doctor. She's a doctor. With two master's degrees. That's beautiful. And and there and I love hearing stories because we have family members that are like one family member that is young, under 30. Yep. Bought her home. She has a home. She travels. She has her master's. Yeah. And she's not 30. Isn't that we we waited so late to get stuff? It's like <laughs> now. When you hear young people doing this, oh. Now, every day I always try to put something in that's funny 